Isang magandang lunes sa inyong lahat. Ito po ang November 8, 2021 edition ng The Stock Market Today. At 47 days na lang, Pasko na. Nasa remote location po ako, kaya pasensya na po kayo kung meron pong ambient noise. Ano? Pero nagpapasalamat muna ako sa maganda at uh, maasikasong cashier no? na binigyan po ako ng internet dito po sa Ford, Makati. Maraming salamat, Aloysa. Ito po ang lingkod, Benji Chodoro. Ako po ay isang retired bank officer na nagsimula mag-invest sa Philippine stock market noong 2007. And I do this report daily which I started August of last year. I also report the latest news on your favorite and most active stocks. If you like the content, I invite you to subscribe to my channel. If you have stocks in mind that you want reviewed, please comment on the comment box and I will prioritize. Ang ating financial news ay tungkol sa Metrobank, yung kanyang uh, nine month or third quarter financials, kasama po ang financial headlines at lang resulta ng trading sa ating PSE ngayong araw, November 8, 2021. Dito lamang sa The Stock Market Today, Don't Go Away. Okay, so let's start with our financial headlines. Ngayon po in November 8, in the macro news, September exports and imports grow. Then price spikes seen during the holidays, but BSP says no cause for worry. Okay, price spikes kasi is uh, an indication of inflation no? or inflationary. Ang um, pagtaas ng presyo. MBT post third quarter net income of 4.4 billion pesos up 14% quarter on quarter and 131% year on year. Yan po yung main news natin. Pagkatapos po yung ating sectoral news, Bloom reports 9 months EBITDA of 3.3 billion up 2 times year on year. Then the next is Aboitis expects NEDA to approve three airfield projects. So meron pong buy rating si BDO Securities dito. At pagkatapos po, RLC or Robinson's Land allots 3 billion for buyback program. Alam nyo po, pagka nagbabuyback ang isang kumpanya, ay indication po yan na undervalued po yung presyo ng kanyang stock. Okay, so let's start with Metro Bank. At uh, mag-focus po tayo dito sa summary ni BDO Securities. Okay, this is our main news. Metro Bank post third quarter net income of 4.4 billion, up 14% quarter on quarter, and 131% year on year. So let's now go to the summary on the quick take of BDO Securities so there, is, there was robust net income amid low provisions and stable NPLs on Metro Bank so third in quarter income is up 13.5% quarter and quarter and 131% year on year and uh, this is in line with their expectations loan demand still muted some green shoots in corporate demand. Merong weak retail demand but asset quality remains stable with overall non-performing loans at 2.1 percent. And uh, past due loans also continues or continued to taper off. So the key takeaways from the third quarter's financials is that there is a sustained pickup in loan demand as the economy recovers, loan growth likely to approximate GDP growth in 2022. NIMS or net interest margins stabilized are expected to improve in the next quarters. 
continued recovery in fee income driven by higher transaction volumes and cross-selling initiatives. Yung fee income, ito po yung non-traditional ng mga banko like uh, remittance fees, trust fees. Diyan po ay on the side po ng net interest margins. Cost management initiatives to sustain single-digit OPEX growth on con continued efforts to improve efficiencies. NPL could still peak at 45% if intermittent lockdown continues, but ample reserves provide leeway to lower provisions. Then there is a strong set one ratio of 19.8%, which ensures adequate buffers for potential risks and puts MBT in a strong position to take advantage of market opportunities and support client needs as the economy recovers. So there is a keep buy rating with a target price of 58 pesos. So they just retained the current target price of 58 with a closing price of 49.20 last Friday there is an implied upside of about 18 percent so that's our news for the day for monday on the metrobank financials in the meantime before we proceed with the psei let me just acknowledge some comments factory excess hi sir can you give your thoughts on cli plc and mac thanks Okay po, include po natin yan, factory excess right after our summary of the PSE and the PSE index. Right now, let's go to the PSE and the PSE index and how it did for the day. By the way, yung nag-assist nga pala sa akin kanina ay si Aloydia. Ang pangalan niya. Kamali po, sorry po. Aloydia, maraming po salamat sa iyong pag-assist sa akin for the strong internet connection at saka doon sa tubig na binigay mo. Maraming po salamat. Nag-afford Makati po siya. Okay. The PSEI gained 55.45 points or up 0.76% to end at 7396.22 or just... 4 points shy of the 7400 mark so tingnan natin kung mabibreak niya this is the highest since January January 11, 2021 okay on the market activity 101 companies declined 107 advanced while 44 remained unchanged the oil share index also gained 0.44% while the financials, industrials, properties and services were in the green but the holding companies and mining were in the red. The gainers was led by the financials at 2.23%. So we will be reviewing the following. Yung request po ninyo, si CLI, si PLC, si MAC, MBT, then Bloom, RLC, and GT Cup. So let's see what happened to MBT. No? Financials kasi, lumarga siya. So CLI po muna. Ito po ay Sebulan Masters. And, well, bearish po si Sebulan Masters. While our indicators are piercing through the candlestick, ay yung closing price po niya is still under or is still under our indicators with RSI bearish at 41, ano? Yung kanyang support level ay nandito po sa area nito to nasa 283 at yung resistance po niya ang pinakamalapit po ay nasa 3 pesos 3.06 Now when I talk of support and resistance these are not exact points but these are areas now, si PLC naman, ito yung Premium Leisure Corp. Uy, nag-breakout siya, oh. Nag-breakout si Premium Leisure Corp. From last Friday's closing of 46 centavos, nasa 48.50, gaining 5.43% or 2.5 centavos up. 
So, maliit lang po yung pressure niya. Pero pagka 2.5 centavos at maliit yung starting and closing price niya, ay malaki na po yun. No? 5% or more than, uh, about 5.5%. Meantime, yung next resistance level ni PLC ay pwede natin ilagay po dito sa 49.48 or about 1 centavo higher than the current closing price. At yung resistance niya, I, I think ito yung na-break. Eh. Ngayon ay support. Nasa 46.48 po yung current support level po. Ngayon yung RSI po niya is uh, already at 77 which is an indication of an oversold number. Oversold or overbought rather. Overbought po si yung uh, ang stock na yun since the RSI is at 77. So that's PLC. And then tingnan na natin si MAC. May magandang balita ba? Naku, lumilipad si MAC. Ayan o. No? Nagkaroon po siya ng breakout dito noong November 3. Right after the holidays, nag-consolidate ng isang araw. Tapos noong November 5 ay dumiretso po siya. No? Another, another breakout. So yung one day consolidation nagbunga ng another breakout and today it even surged higher at 22 centavos up or 3.54 percent kasi nung November 3 nung Tuesday ay umakyat po siya ng 10.38 percent tapos nung Friday last time November 5 ay nagsurge po siya ng 6.38 32. So, actually, ang resistance level po na naging support ay ito po. Eh. Yan po, nasa 6 pesos po. Pero nasa 6.44 na po siya. At yung next resistance level ay medyo malayo na po. No? Yung pinaka-basis po natin ay nandito po sa 7.05. And the basis for that is the January 7 to January 8, 2021. Yan po yung last time na umakyat po siya or last time na nag 705 po siya so yun po yung next resistance level ni MAP and tumataas siya dahil the economy is reopening so yung mga tourist ano, bumabalik po siya travel, bumabalik po at um, yung aking um, sister po ano, pupunta po ng Boracay like, uh, this weekend at kami din po, nagbabalak din po mag-travel. Anyway, avenues are opening, the economy is reopening, malls are reopening, ang daming bata. No? So, huwag naman po sana abusuhin ito para hindi po bumalik yung ating low COVID uh, cases. Mm -hmm. ano? Okay, so yan po si Mac. At uh, nasabi ko na ba, yung next resistance level is at 7 pesos and 5 centavos. Okay, but it, the RSI is already overbought. Tingnan natin kung yung DMI niya ay... Okay, the DMI is at 31. Meaning that it will remain overbought and the stock will still move up or there is a possibility that the stock will still move up in spite of being overbought. Okay, then MBT... Yung ating uh, bank stock. Yan. Naku si MBT. Meron siyang high ngayon of 51 but it settled at 50.30. Mukhang nag profit taking last minute to. So tingnan natin yung 15 minute chart. Ah hindi. Yung first 30 minutes nag search siya itaas. So ito yung volatility yung next from... 9.45 to 10, umakyat siya as much as 51 pesos. And because of the good financials of MBT, pero nagko-consolidate po siya based on a 15-minute chart, balik natin sa one day. Ayan po, no? So, meron po siyang volume today and it is now within the resistance area. Yung resistance area po ay ito po. Nasa 1530 po yung resistance area. But the next resistance after that ay nandito po sa area nito. 
nasa 52.15. And the basis is the December 2020 and the February 2021 prices. Yan po yung next resistance level ni Metro Bank. And then Bloom. Well, Nag-open nag na naman yung uh, mga casinos natin. Ano? Yan, tumataas po. Although the financials is uh, just modest, EPS is negative, meaning, uy, nagkaroon siya ng loss. Merong loss yung third quarter earnings niya. But in spite of the loss, ay tumaas pa rin po siya. And kung makikita natin, based on the technicals, ay patuloy pong tumataas si Bloom. Tingnan natin yung DMI po. Yung DMI po is an indication if there is a trend. Meron pong trend, ano? 35. So, a, a directional movement index of 30 and above would indicate a strong upward trend. Yung blue indicator is above the orange indicator. Ibig sabihin po dyan, ang trend po ay pataas. Pero kung yung orange indicator ay above the blue indicator, ang trend po niyan ay pababa. Pero in this case po, pataas po si Bloomberry in spite of the not so good financials nung third quarter. At uh, makikita natin dito yung kanyang res uh, support ay nandito po sa 7.30 and the resistance ay next resistance level nandito po sa area nito. Nasa 8 pesos po for Bloomberry. And then RLC, undervalued pa kaya ito. Uy, pataas si RLC. Oh. Tingnan natin yung presyo ni BDO Securities kay RLC. Robinson's Land, ang target price niya is 23 pesos. So nasa 1932. So may upside po si Robinson's Land based on last Friday. Ang kanyang upside ay mga 15%. Pero nagbabaybag po si Robinson's Land. Eh. So, ibig sabihin, para feeling ng company ay undervalued pa rin yung stock. Yung next resistance level niya ay nasa 1980 to 20 pesos. Yun po yung next resistance level ni Robinson's Land. And then GTCAP. Yan, si GTCAP after a breakout here. It surged even higher, no? And sabi nga natin, yung previous support level ay nandito sa area ng to. Nasa 580, but the next resistance level would be here at 606. And the next uh, one after that would be at this area at 629 to 630. At makita po natin yung PSE index nag na ng almost 7,400, ano? Tingnan natin si PSEI. Nasa 7,396 or just 4 points shy of the 7,400 level. Sleeping na natin si MPI. Yung aking favorite stock. Mukhang, uy, nag-search din si MPI, ano? At uh, nasa, yung high niya ngayon ay nasa 406. But, um, it settled at 399. So, ano kaya mangyayari dito sa MPI dahil undervalued na undervalued po ito. Si Mike Miguel. Pure gold daw. Sige, uh, just a, a very quick one, ano? Okay. Naku, bumagsak si Pure Gold. For, pero for today lang po ito, let's put up the indicator. Buti nakahabol ka pa. But uh, in general, pataas po. No, pataas pa rin po. It's uh, bullish to sideways actually on first glance with resistance here at nasa 44.31. Support po nandito sa 4016. Ano? Ngayon, since under the candlestick pa rin yung last price niya based on a short to medium term in the, uh, based on our short and medium term indicators, I Bullish to sideways pa si Pure Gold. But I expect Pure Gold to move up. Kasi yung tunay na pressure po ni Pure Gold based on BDO Securities is I think 56. Silipin nga natin Pure Gold. Ito. 56 pesos or a 27 
25 to 26 uh, percent upside yan po si pure gold and uh, bullish to sideways po a movement niya with RSI uy mataas ang RSI niya 53 so ibig sabihin may chance pa tong mag move up DMI silipin nga natin ang DMI it should be over 30 it's just 15 but our indicators are slightly moving upwards so yan po ang aking take sa pure gold nakikita ko pong bullish although sa chart po natin ay hindi po natin masasabing bullish pa but pure gold yung mga retail po magiging bullish po yan kasi palapit na po yung disyembre and marami pong mago grocery malapit po ang holidays okay so maraming po salamat yan po ang ating report sa stock market November 8, 2021, ito po si Benji Chadoro, nagpapaalala, an investment in knowledge, pays the best interest. Maraming salamat sa inyong pagtangkilik at hanggang sa muli, God bless. Bye for now.